when um, I mean, I, I, you know, one of the things that that I have found out in the last couple of weeks, um, you know, is stemming from all this and talking to some other women who did not want to do the show um, mm-hmm. is that and then you sort of alluded to this to a degree is that it, it feels to me like the women in wrestling talked about this among themselves and a lot of the guys really didn't know um, unless it's guys who were bragging. And I think that some of the guys that did some of the stuff, it's not stuff that you brag about because I know a lot of guys that were very depressed and shocked and didn't realize it. But the women that I know were not surprised at all and knew the names and knew the stories. And you sort of alluded to the fact that you did as well, that it's just something that, Mm -hmm. you know, like, it's it there's there's a, a different level of communication among the women, uh, you know, like even one who said, like, you know, you, you kind of know certain names to keep away from their creeps, to, so to speak. And, you know, guys, I mean, I, yeah. I know I know all those names and I never knew any of them were creeps. But, you know, I mean, but but they did. And I, you know, until this happened, you kind of don't really hear about that at all. Yeah, you know, like you go somewhere like you, I don't know. You go to someone's house and they have like that drunk uncle that was like, like super touchy all the time. And like you have to watch him because he'll corner you or whatever, or you have to watch your wife around them. Yeah. Like that's how some of the guys are. And they think they're being charming and sweet and it's okay. Like they don't know how freaking creepy they are or how rapey they are, mm-hmm. but they are. They're totally rapey. And that they're like that drunk uncle. Basically. Yeah. So, I mean, like when you would travel, I mean, I mean, did you, did you know names to stay away from, so to speak, or, or was it just experience and you kind of like figured out who they were, so to speak? Both. Girls would talk amongst themselves like, oh, you're going on the tour, who's on there, and would say like, oh, watch such and such. Or you find out and then you pass it along. So there is like a... We have our own bro code. <laughs> yeah. We do talk about you guys. <laughs> yeah. When you, yeah. I mean, so, um, I mean, like it, it, it yeah. feels, it feels to me like, again, that it was almost like one of those things where in the, in the business, as it's going on while you're doing it, um, I don't know if we want to say it, 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 it you accepted it as part of the business, but um, I mean, do you sense that there was some of that where, in, in, where, where it's sort of like, okay, um, you know, like, like you said, when you got out of the business and you look back and you kind of go, I put up with this and this guy did this. And it's like, what a, you know, like that type of a thing coming out, you know, coming out of it, looking back and going like, God, I had this experience. It's like in real life, could you, this would never happen in real life, so to speak, or it wouldn't happen much, put it that way. Um, yeah, we did, we did, like, if you, like, like we discussed earlier with our high tolerance or high threshold, or you do accept it. Uh, it's kind of like one of those things you just take it as part of what you're going to have to deal with as well as you're going to have to deal with sprains and delayed flights and missing your mother's birthday and um, having to leave your pet or your child behind. I mean, these are all things you accept if you become a professional wrestler and you go on the road, and none of them are good. You know, you're going to have to eat airport food. You're going to go without sleep. Um, You're going to be stranded in an airport overnight somewhere. Um, At some point, someone is going to point a machine gun at you when they take your passport um, on the border of some country. It's going to wow. happen. These are things you kind of accept that is, it's part of the deal to get on the road and become a professional wrestler. I, I've had a machine gun point at me so many times. It sucks. Really? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, like out of nowhere? I mean, like. So we, uh, between Southern and Northern Ireland. Um, and we got pulled over, the, the bus got pulled over in France. We were, we were reported as. Uh, illegal aliens in France. They pulled us over, took our passports, had us at gunpoint um, in Bulgaria, in Mexico. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Was this like, like promoters? Sn- your passport when you check in and you can't have it back until you check out. 
weird. Was it was it promoters, um, um, you know, like rival promoters trying to snitch on these promoters, or was it, or do you even know what the what, where this comes from? I do actually. One of the wrestlers, when we stopped off at the rest stop in France for this particular one, got super shitty with somebody in the rest stop and insulted the owner of the store. So the owner of the store called the police on us and said that we were illegal aliens that had to cross the border. Because that's the group I was traveling with, just a bunch of rivers. Mm -hmm. So we were delayed and detained because somebody had to be an asshole. (laughs) 